What we'll be doing today is forensically, methodically, and as meticulously as human possible, going back over this entire area out here to our west. We know that we've recovered only partial remains. We have every reason to believe there will be more remains. And so our focus today is to find uh, the rest of her body. And working with the family, we negotiated with Mr. Williams in good faith that in exchange for the, telling us exactly where he buried the body, he would receive a 35-year plea mm -hmm. uh, and a prison sentence. We were completely stunned when we came out here and discovered that, in fact, the body had been dismembered. There was no way for us to anticipate that when our wildest dreams imagined that that's what we would encounter. Williams, is he sympathetic at all? When he came out here, was it hard for him? Was there any emotion? I was there. I came out, of course, when he came last night, and I didn't see any emotion. It was a flat, a fact, and he just, just went about business. It is what it is. Yeah. That's, it's disturbing. Well, this case is profoundly disturbing in, in so many respects. I talked to my daughter this morning who went to school with her. Oh, wow. Patricia Todd. So we know the family. Martin County is a close-knit right. county. Hope Sound is a close-knit community. People are watching what's going on. And uh, my heart and my prayers continue to go out to the Todd family. This is an ordeal that no parent should ever go through. And the more you hear from him and the more you see out here that quite possibly this was premeditated. Well, I, in my opinion, this was clearly premeditated.